Welcome back to the Kushtka channel, everyone. I got a real brief one for you today. So I haven't posted anything probably about a month or so because uh, I've been real busy working on Pig, the Alaskan Overland Rig. Pig's a 2001 GMC Sierra 3500 crew cab long bed dually with that big, beautiful LB7 Duramax engine in it. So it's Pig's 20th birthday. She's 3,000 miles away from hitting 200,000 miles. And... Guess what we have been up to? Let's show you. What do we got here? Got some valve train parts, some fuel lines, and some cylinder heads. So, a couple weeks ago, after I uh, did the turbo rebuild and everything, I was cruising it around, giving it a good old test. And I noticed that we were running about 10 degrees hotter than normal, uh, which is still about, you know, about 195, 200 degrees. And, uh, so that caused a little bit of suspicion. So I started checking things out. I used my little test over there uh, to um, see what's going on with the coolant tank, see if there's any um, CO2 uh, carbon in there or anything. And there was. Um, the blue turned to green. And also I had some pretty extreme pressure in the reservoir. And it seemed like all my... Um, uh, seemed like... All my hoses were really, really rock hard, tight, and wanted to blow up on me. So I did the right thing and I ordered up some head, new head gaskets, grade C head gaskets, and ordered up some studs to replace all those bolts there. And while I was at it, uh, I, th I decided to order up some 45 O um, sack nozzled injectors from Lincoln Diesel Specialties. So pretty excited about that. I got all of those in right there. And all this, I documented everything as well, which is also why it's kind of taken a while. Um, but I'm gonna, I'll do the full reveal of this as well. But I got um, the Lincoln Diesel 45 over injectors in there. I got some new high pressure lines. Went to KB Diesel, got some studs. So we are gonna get pig all kinds of setup. All right, so I mentioned a turbo rebuild i did a little bit more than a turbo rebuild um instead of replacing the turbo with a bigger turbo uh, the idea with pig for those of you who frequent the channel you know that uh, i do a lot of overlanding and so a lot of low speed uh high air velocity to spool up that turbo uh, low speed high torque is kind of what i'm going after because i spend a lot of time crawling up mountains and everything so you know if a turbo doesn't start creating boost till 1800 RPMs, 2000 RPMs, 2200 RPMs. So that doesn't do much good for me because I'm rolling around anywhere from 11 to 1600 RPMs usually. Uh, so I need to get that turbo to spool up as quick as possible. So this is what I did. Oh, pig, so empty. So we switched over to a billet aluminum uh, compressor wheel and uh, let's see, well, I won't be able to show you anything, but you can kind of see what's going on back here. Not real good light, but I, um, I ported the exhaust side, did a little port match job uh, to create some higher flow velocity. I port matched both up pipes. I kept, uh, I kept the stock ones. They look like they're in really good condition and they had nice bends and everything and they fit. I just heat wrapped them instead of using those stupid heat shields that get in, get caught on everything. So I ported those, uh, I ported the exhaust manifolds. Here, you can actually see that a little bit better. So, and I documented all this so you can see the whole process, but this was pretty plugged up. Nothing was lining up, there was slag everywhere. And so I port matched everything. Also got a new BD power full bore exhaust manifold that I slapped on there. Of course got new bolts for everything. Um, got an EGT port. I got an EGT gauge installed now. So, yeah, we, uh, we're going to get cooking with this. Um, all that is done and ready to go. I just need to do head gaskets and injectors. Uh, I did detect uh, a little bit of problems with the heads there. It looks like maybe some debris came in through possibly a failing valve cover, got into the valve train, and um, nicked up the bottom side of these. Uh, heads. I'll show you that in the video when that releases. Um, so I'm hoping I can find a machine shop to go ahead and resurface that, do a pressure check, make sure everything checks out. 
because uh, you know you'd hate I'd hate to slap these things back in just to have to pull them back out and replace them. So we're gonna make sure that they are good to go. Also gives me a chance to pull a couple of these uh, broken off uh, glow plugs that broke off probably about a year or two ago now. And of course, valve covers everything that I can paint. It's gonna be painted. I really want to replace that thing, but uh, the Y bridge. But they are like five hundred freaking bucks, so. <sighs> It's gonna it's gonna kill me to put that thing back in, but apparently I got a few days to think about it, so I may order one or may not. I don't know. Uh, well, those heads are in the shop. It's gonna give me time to replace all these fuel lines that are all dry rotted, like this guy right here is all dry rotted. Uh, some of these are dry rotted. Some of them I had to just freaking cut off, like everything that was attached. Look at that! Look how beautiful that is. That is just nasty. I'm sure that was sucking in air, weeping fuel. All that stuff attached to the uh, CP3 fuel pump is toast. Also, good opportunity to change out the thermostats, which they're running two of the uh, same thermostat, which is not what you're supposed to do with these guys. Uh, this is two thermostats that are made for the forward part of the engine. Uh, you need a different one for the rear side. I think the forward one, those ones are 180. The rear one's 185 and has a little bit different design. I'll show you that in a video when it comes out. Uh, let's see. Okay. Well, I said this would be a quick update, but we're already approaching seven minutes. So I'm going to give you one more look at Pig. We're going to wish her a happy birthday, happy 200,000 miles uh, on the old odometer there. And here's 20 more, Pig. Let's get this is your first introduction to the channel let me just show you a little bit of pig here get a little zoom out it's been raining so i got my tarp up and while i'm updating you i haven't actually done a full proper walk around with the new rebuild uh so i'm not going to do that right now but i just wanted to show you kind of what it looks like on the inside i have been using it uh this summer a couple of times so still a little a little dirty from that, but yeah, spray and insulation is working great. Uh, the diesel heater down there is working great. Got it mounted right there. Everything is just looking pretty. My blackout curtains are freaking amazing. I absolutely love them, especially in Alaska, you know, where it just gets, there's just too much light in summertime. Uh, yeah, sink is awesome, working great. Got my seven gallon tank in there. Got my grandpa's action packer right there. It just lives in here now, and it's my way of bringing grandpa along with me. Uh, hey, that's where my Milwaukee battery went. I need to take that. Anywho, just wanted to get, show you real quick what the inside looks like. And uh, we'll do a proper, proper walk around with it when it's all said and done, and I get it all cleaned up. Maybe we... We can go camping. All right, guys, I gotta get back to it. I gotta start taking apart these heads and figuring things out. It's Saturday right now, so everything's closed, so I got some time to work on some things here. But I wanna thank everyone on the YouTube channel for sticking around with me this long and being patient with me. I got a lot of content uh, on its way. Uh, take it. Got a lot of content on its on its way that needs to be edited still. Downpipe. Got an oh, got a new new downpipe from KB Diesel Performance. I gotta show you that. Wipe shit all over me. But anyways, I'm falling apart here, guys. So I'll wish you a good rest of the day. Good weekend. And uh let's get back to work, shall we?